Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. Having passed through the 8th division of the Tuat, the boat of the sun arrives at the 9th division, which is passed through by the sun during the ninth hour of the night. The opening text reads, This great God taketh up his place in this circle, and he addresseth words from his boat to those who are in it. The divine sailors join the boat of this great God in this city. The name of the gate of this city through which this God entereth, and taketh up his place on the stream, which is in this city is Sa'em Keb. The name of this city is Bastaru Anket Keperu. The name of the hour of the night, which guideth this great God is to Atet Make Tet and Nebeb S. The line of text which runs above the upper register reads, The hidden circle of Amentet, through which this great God traveleth, and taketh up his place in the Tuat. If these things be made with their names after the manner of this figure, which is depicted at the east of the hidden house of the Tuat, and if a man knoweth their names whilst he is upon earth, and knoweth their places in Amenti, he shall attain to his own place in the Tuat, and he shall stand up in all places which belong to the gods whose voices, or words, are mot, even as the divine sovereign chiefs, Chacha of Ra, and the mighty ones of the palace, pharaohs, and this knowledge, shall be of benefit to him upon earth. In the middle register are 1. The boat of the sun, with the god Afu standing under a canopy formed by the serpent Mehen. 2. The twelve sailors of Ra, each of whom stands upright, and holds a paddle in his hands, their names are 1. Kenu, i.e., the sailor par excellence. 2. Akam Sekf. 3. Akam Ert F. 4. Akam Hemi F. 5. Akam Hep F. 6. Akam Nemes F. 7. Ken Unnut F. 8. Heptita F. 9. Hetep Wa. 10. Neder Nederu. 11. Cha Tuit. 12. Tepi. The text which refers to these reads, this, this great God joineth those who will transport him through this city, and his sailors join his boat wherein he is in his hidden form of Mehen. This great God addresseth words to the gods who dwell in this city, that is to say, to the gods who are the sailors of the boat of Ra, and to those who will transport him through the horizon, so that he may take up his position in the eastern hall of heaven. Their work in the Tuat is to transport Ra through this city every day, and they take their stand by the stream in this city where Ra saileth the boat, and it is they who give water with their paddles to the spirits who are in this city, and they sing hymns to the Lord of the Disc, and they make to arise his soul in his forms by means of their hidden words every day. Three a bearded, man-headed hawk, wearing plumes and horns on his head, seated on a basket or bowl, his name is Muti Kenti Tuit. Four, the ram god Nesti Kenti Tuit, couchant on a basket or bowl. Five, the cow goddess Net Auh Kenti Tuit. 6. A bearded god, in mummied form, called Hetbit Neder, or Hetabit Nederu. The text which refers to these reads, Those who are in this picture in this city, are they who give offerings of food to the gods who are in the Tuat. Ra decreeth for them loaves of bread and vessels of beer, and the gods journey on in the following of this great god to the eastern horizon of the sky, with Hetep Neteru to it, also, following him. In the upper register are 1. 
twelve gods, each of whom is seated upon the symbol of linen swathings. Their names are 1. Nehata 2. Teba 3. Mahdi, or Aridi 4. Menkit 5. Hebs 6. Nedi 7. Osti Neder 8. Osti Pot 9. Heat Met Ku 10. Neb Pat 11. Temtu 12. Men A The text which refers to these reads Those who are in this picture in the Tuat are seated firmly on their instruments for weaving, and they are in the form of the figures which Horus made. Ra saith to them, O, o ye who are swathed in your holy swathings, who are arrayed in your garments, whom Horus covered up when he hid his father in the Tuat, which concealeth the gods, uncover ye your heads, O ye gods, unveil ye your faces, and perform ye the things which must be done for Osiris. Ascribe ye praise to the Lord of Amentet, and make ye your word mod against his enemies every day. These beings are the Chacha, i.e., divine sovereign chiefs, of this god, and they avenge by their words Osiris each day, and the work which they do in the Tuat is to overthrow the enemies of Osiris. 2. Twelve Goddesses, whose names are 1. Parrot 2. Shimatku 3. Netshat 4. Net Shef Sheft. 5. Aat Atet. 6. Net Seda. 7. Hent Nut S. 8. Net Mat. 9. Tezard Ant. 10. Aat Ku. 11. Second Medu. 12. Nidert en Kentet Ra. The text which refers to these reads Those who are in this picture with their bodies of the Tuat are they who are in the forms which Horus made. This great god cries out to them after he hath arrived at the place where they are, and they come to life and they hear his voice. Their work in the Tuat is to raise the praises of Osiris and to embrace the hidden soul by means of their words, and to bring life and strength to the risings of the god of the Tuat, in whatsoever regions they are, and they utter words on his behalf in the chamber each day. In the lower register are 1. Twelve Urii, which are mounted each on its instrument for weaving, and each pours forth fire from its mouth, their names are Name unknown. 2. T. Kate. Name unknown. 4. Cut to it. 5. Turtneshin. 6. A. P. Shet. 7. Anket. 8. Shintanam. Name unknown. 10. A.T. Aru 11. Net Wow 12. Net Rika Above the Urii is a mutilated line of text, which, according to Mispero's restoration, reads The names of the Urii who kindle fires for the god, who is the governor of the Tuat, by means of the fire which is in their mouths. They swallow their flames after this god hath passed by them. The text which refers to them reads, Those who are in this picture are in the Tuat, and they have bodies of fire, and it is they who lighten the darkness in the Tuat for Osiris, by means of the flames of fire which come forth from their mouths, and it is they who bring about the destruction of those who are overthrown in the Tuat. 
It is they who drive back the serpent's kind which are on the ground, and which are unknown in their forms to the god of the Tuat. They make themselves to live by means of the blood of those whom they hack to pieces each day, when, those advance who endow with magical power the dead by the mystery of their formulae. Those who know this shall see their magical formulae, and shall not pass through their flames. 2. Nine bearded gods, who stand upright. Each holds the symbol of life in his right hand, and a staff, the upper portion of which is in the form of a wriggling snake, in the left hand. These gods are under the direction of a god in mummied form, whose name, or description, is Hera Hershey Tuati, i.e., Horus who is over the lakes in the Tuat. The names of the nine gods are 1. Sekti 2. A.M. Seket F 3. Nehebidi 4. Tkamudi 5. Nebadi 6. Hekneteru F 7. Pan R Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.